This is Tamara from MooglyBlog.com, and in this video, I'm going to be demonstrating Lion Brand Yarns Celtic Afghan. I'll be using Lion Brand Vanna's Choice and a clover hook in the MN or 9 millimeter size. The pattern calls for an MN hook or N13, whatever they want to label it, it's 9 millimeters, and also 12 skeins of Lion Brand Vanna's Choice. So let's get started. Okay, so before we begin the Celtic Afghan, I should say up front that making this only from the video would be extremely difficult. This is a complicated pattern with a lot of cabling, so you'll really want to be able to read written patterns and print it out from the Lion Brand site. Uh, it's free on their site, uh, and really follow along when you go to make it. I just want to do this part to demonstrate some of the stitches and some of the tips that I found really helped me when I made this Afghan. So for the foundation row, you chain 121, skip the first three, they'll count as a stitch as well, and then double crochet on across. So you have 119 double crochet stitches. That's what we have here. I am not going to make you watch me crochet 119 stitches. So now this is the part that I did, all these stitch markers. I really, really strongly recommend that you use a lot of stitch markers with this pattern. And what you want to do is if you read through the notes at the beginning of the pattern, you'll see that there are three sections that repeat across in each row. You've got sections of three, sections of 11, sections of three, always break those up, the same sections of three. So the sections of three, sections of 11, and check sections of 17 stitches. Those are the three patterns that you're going to use over and over again. There's the three again, and see there's the 11 again, three again, 17 again, three again, 11 again, 17 again, or excuse me, three again. That's 17, three, 11, and three. By using the stitch markers to help yourself see exactly where you are, once you've got those stitches memorized, you can see, oh, oh it's section 11 again, section three, that's always the same, section 17, and on and on. So basically, when you place your stitch markers, you're going to place them at stitches numbered 3, 14, 17, 34, 37, 48, 51, there we are, 68, 71, 82, 85, 102, 105, and 116. We've got three left. Each row will begin and end with a cable pattern of three stitches, so we know we're in the right spot there. So of course, if you're working one direction, you'll have the stitch marker on the last end, the last stitch of each, each that section. When you come back the other way, it'll be the first stitch of the next section. But this is really the best way to help you keep track of where you are in the pattern. So let me set this aside. And I will pull up a mini blanket that I've been working on. Let me get the yarn free here. Get that out of the way. All right. Here I have the first section of three. Actually, I'm going back this way. Excuse me. So it'll be a section of three, a section of 11, another section of three. The 11s and 17s are always have threes in between. So three, 11, three, 17, and then a three on the end. So I'll be able to demonstrate in relatively short space how the stitch patterns work. Again, you'll need to print this out and look at it. And you can see that the pattern stitches for the, each of the cable patterns, the three stitch pattern, the 11 stitch pattern, and the 17 stitch pattern are all four row repeats and they're all spelled out in the written pattern. But I'm going to demonstrate them here today. So let's get started. I'm going to put my hook back in the last stitch here of the foundation row, and then we begin cable row one. So every time we begin a row, even though it's really the section of three, we're gonna begin with three chains that count as our first double crochet, like so. Then coming back, this is our section of three stitches, and the cable pattern one, which is our three stitch pattern for row one is front post double crochet, well we replace that with a chain three because it's the beginning of the row, followed by a back post double crochet, so we yarn over, 
go around from behind the next post there and make a back post a double crochet followed by a front post double crochet like so then because that was a stitch with the stitch marker in it I'm going to take the stitch marker out and put it in the top of the stitch I just made so that it's right there and waiting for when we come back next we'll begin our section of 11 and I'm going to zoom in a little bit for this because it's a little bit more complicated okay so what we have in front of us here we can tell by where the stitch markers are is a section of 11 this is the cable pattern 2 in the written pattern so for row 1 of section 11 we're going to start with a back post treble so we yarn over twice go to the next stitch come from behind go around pull up a loop and work off our treble stitch yarn over pull through two pull through two and pull through two then in the next stitch we're going to work a puff stitch now you want to be careful here because the instinct after working a post here might be to put it here but this is the top of this stitch so you need to move over here for that puff stitch for the puff stitch for this pattern we are going to yarn over insert the hook pull up a loop and because it's a puff we want to pull it up nice and high and then we're going to do that four more times so five times total so that was one yarn over pull up two yarn over pull up a little bit more yarn here pull up three yarn over pull up four gotta keep kind of tugging those once we get this many loops on the hook yarn over and pull up five now at this point we should have let me get my yarn in a better place here getting a little tangled at this point we should have 11 loops on the hook so I'm going to yarn over and pull through all 11 loops best way to do that is to keep those loops nice and high and point the hook of your crochet hook down so that it doesn't catch on the sides you want it to slide right inside those stitches so we'll pull through and that's our puff stitch if you don't like puff stitches you could replace this although it's not in the pattern you could replace this with a bobble um, probably a double crochet five together bobble so but here's our puff stitch we're going to follow that with another back post treble so we yarn over twice go to the next stitch which is right here go around from behind and work a back post treble in the standard way pull through two pull through two pull through two all right and there's that then we are going to double crochet in the next stitch remember that's not here that's part of this one so we come all the way over here work a double crochet then we repeat this section of actually all four of these over again so back post treble around the next stitch pull through two pull through two pull through two followed by a puff yarn over come all the way over here one yarn over two yarn over three yarn over four and yarn over five like so pull yarn over and pull through followed by another back post treble so this was part of this one so we want to come to this one right here right there all right and then remember pull up some more yarn here that's followed by another double crochet and so we've done the first eight stitches of our section of 11 back post treble puff back post treble regular double crochet same thing again we have three stitches left it's going to be these three right here back post treble around the next stitch right there then a puff stitch in this one right here one two three four and five pull through to finish the puff yarn over twice and we know we're in the right spot because this is a marked stitch so we'll go around it from behind 
and make a back post treble to finish our section of 11. That's the cable pattern two. There we are. Okay. Now remember, every time you work in or around a marked stitch, you want to move that up to the next row because that's going to be really helpful. Um, after you've probably done two or three repeats of the four rows, you'll have it memorized enough to just go without the markers. But I think the markers are a really good visual reminder of exactly where you are. So you can see we've got another marker here in three stitches. It must mean it's time for that cable pattern one again, which has worked over three stitches. For row one, we front post double crochet around the first one. Back post double crochet around the next. And front post double crochet around the next one. Cable pattern one, three stitches, definitely the easiest to memorize. Move that stitch marker up to the top of that row, or the top of that stitch, I should say. There we are. So it's ready next time. And here you can see we've got our big long section. I can barely fit it on screen. 17 stitches. So let's start cable pattern three, which has 17 stitches. Row one of cable pattern three begins with double crochet in the first four stitches. So remember, this is the top of this one. So we go one, two. These are just standard double crochets. Three. four. And then we go back to the pattern and it says after we double crochet four we make a back post treble around the next nine. So yarn over twice, come to the next post, and do a back post treble nine times. And this is the start of that cool winding cabled pattern in the in the blanket in the Celtic Afghan. This is a little bit of a yarn eater. Anything with cables is um, just, you know, the more 3D you go, the more yarn you're obviously going to use. So when I made what you saw at the beginning of the video, which was, I believe, the first five rows of the pattern, that used almost entire skein of yarn. But we also got pretty darn far, so not so bad. Let's see here. If that's six, so we've got three more. Yarn over twice. Regular back post trebles here. Oops, there's one. Pull a little more yarn. Two. And three. And then after we've made our nine back post trebles, what do we do? Four more double crochets. So. Remember, we went around this post. We need to come over here to work back into the top again. One, two, and three. Ah, catching that stitch marker. And four. And we know we're in the right spot again because it's a marked stitch. So I move the stitch marker up to the top like so. And then for the last three stitches, it's that, that three stitch cable pattern, cable pattern one over again. Front post double crochet, followed by back post double crochet, followed by front post double crochet, which is a little tricky to do around the final stitch of a row. Um, if you prefer, you could actually just double crochet in the top of the chain three, or just kind of go right around that chain almost in the chain space to make a double crochet. And that looks pretty good too, especially once you get a little further on in the pattern. So that is the end of row one of the cable pattern, which is of course actually row two of the blanket because you've got that foundation row. Okay, so let's begin row two of the cable pattern. I'm going to start with a chain three. Remember that that always takes the place of the first row, or excuse me, the first stitch of the row throughout this pattern. And then we move on to the second stitch. Obviously, again, we have a section of three stitches. The first or the second stitch here is going to be a front post treble. So we work that off in our sets of two, like so, followed by a back post treble, yarn over twice, come around the next one from behind, and make our standard treble here. 
And then, as you'll recall, when we came across this way, we had the stitch marker on the last stitch of each section coming back. It's going to be on the first stitch of each section. So we know we are beginning a row, or excuse me, a section of 17 stitches. It's our big long section. So for row two of the cable pattern three, we're going to start with, again, four double crochets. So go in the first one, getting myself a little tangled here off screen. There we go. After that, we pull up the stitch marker so that it stays in the right place for when we come back the other direction. And then three more double crochets. One, two, and three. There we are. So that's four double crochets. Then we front post double crochet around the next three stitches. These were those treble stitches, back post treble stitches we did. We're going to front post double crochet around the first three. One, two, and three, like so. Okay, so here we have those three front post double crochets, and then we're going to skip over the next three stitches here. One, two, three, come to the stitch after that, and work a front post double crochet around that one. It's okay to kind of squish up, squish up your fabric underneath here. It'll be fine. And then two more front post double crochets around the next two stitches. Continuing to ignore for now the three that we skipped. One, two, three. So there's the third one. And then we're gonna go back and look at the ones we skipped. You can see those hiding out right down here. We are going to work in front of the three we just made and make a front post treble around each of these, starting at the first one we skipped. So we'll yarn over two, come back over here to that one, and just go right in front of all our previous work. And it's okay to just drop it. You can see I just dropped it and hold on to that stitch for anchoring. That is a-okay to do. Then pick it back up here, yarn over twice, and find the next one that we skipped right there. The center of the three skipped stitches and work a front post treble there. Yarn over twice again, find the last one that we skipped. And this really helps you can kind of pull those first three we made out of the way, pull the first two to the side. You can see that one lonely one hanging out there. That's the one we want to go around. And that is our front post treble there. And you can see I lay this down, we're starting to get that crossed cable look. So after you've worked those around the skipped stitches, then you are going to double crochet in the last four stitches of this section. So you want to make sure to come all the way over here, that third front post treble that you made is right here, so we want to make sure to come all the way over here to begin those four double crochets. And these are just standard double crochets again. A little bit of a buffer between the big cable cross that we're making here and the other sections of the blanket. So there is our four regular double crochets. All right, and there's what row two of our section of 17, cable pattern three, looks like. So what have we come to next? Another little section of three. So remember row two of pattern cable pattern one, which is our three stitch section. We work a back post treble around the first one. You can see already there's a back post stitch there, so that's a good visual cue as well. We move the stitch marker, because we just went around a stitch with a stitch marker. Move it to the top of this stitch. Then front post treble around the next one, like so, and back post treble around the third one. Another section of three done. So we're at a stitch marker. You can see this is our section of 11. Now this is, can get a little confusing because the stitch marker is in the first stitch of this section, which was the last stitch of that section we made. And if you might recall, if I flip back over, it's a little bit more obvious. This was the back post treble. 
not the puff. This is there. So when we look at it from this side, although your first instinct might tell you that the stitch marker is in the puff stitch, it's not. It's in the top of this treble stitch right in front of it. So that's where we're going to begin our cable pattern to row two. So this one is begins with a something called a front treble, front post treble cross. So I'm going to set the stitch marker aside because this particular stitch has a lot of moves and is probably the hardest stitch of the whole pattern. But I think you can do it if you take it one step at a time. For the front post treble cross, what we're going to do is yarn over and start a double crochet right in the top of that marked stitch there. Like so. Excuse me, I went in the wrong stitch, didn't I? This is the right stitch, right here. Right sort of where the puff comes together. So we go in there and start a double crochet, yarn over, pull through two, stop when there are two loops still left on the hook. Pull up a little bit more yarn. There we are. I'm going to yarn over twice so that we've got four loops on the hook. Come over to this post stitch, which is on the other side of the puff. Go around there. Pull through two. Pull through two. And then when we have three loops left on the hook, I'm going to yarn through and pull through all three loops. So you can see we've got a decrease right there and all the way over there. That is the stitch that needs to be marked. So I want to go ahead and put my stitch marker right back in there. Next, we're going to do a double crochet in front of the post part that we just worked in the top of the puff stitch, which is actually right there. See those two loops? And there's the one on the bottom. That is the stitch we want to make our double crochet in. So you can use your hook to go in there and then use your fingers to pull that treble out of the way, sort of pull it forward and make our double crochet. I'll be showing you that again on the next one. So we've got our first little cross there, followed by a double crochet in the puff. Then what we're going to do is yarn over twice, come back over here. Remember we worked our double crochet in this stitch, but we're also going to go around it. Front post treble right there. We're going to pull through two, pull through two, stop with two loops on the hook, yarn over once for three loops, and then the post stitch over here that we went around before, we're now going to go in the top. So if we went around that stitch, then right here is the top of that stitch. I'm going to go in there, there we go, pull through two, and then when we have three loops on the hook, we yarn over and pull through all three. And that completes the crossover stitch there. So you can see we've got that one is the one we just made, which is a decrease with that one. We've got the one in the middle, which is the one in the poof. And the one, the first one over there is the one that went over here and behind. So let me show you that again. But before we make another front post treble cross, we do a double crochet in the next stitch. Um, these are a little easier to keep track of too. You can see it's just double crochet, double crochet, double crochet. Those are always going to line up to help keep you on track. So, time for another one of those. Let's start again. We're going to yarn over once, go into the top of the next stitch right there, stop when we have two double crochets left on the hook, or excuse me, two loops left on the hook from our double crochet, yarn over twice, come to the treble here, on the other side of the puff stitch, pull up a loop, pull through two, pull through two, and then pull through all three to finish that stitch. Then we make a double crochet in the top of the puff stitch itself, which remember is going to be to the side here. You can pull the top of that stitch to the front if it's easier to make your double crochet, like so. It'll go right back, see? It just goes right back to where it was. Then we're going to yarn over twice, go back to the post stitch in front of the puff, do a front post treble there, stopping with two loops left on the hook, just like so, yarn over again, and then come back and go back in the top of the one we went around before, right there. 
pull through two, and then pull through all three to finish it off. And there's another crossed one. So again, we just make a regular double crochet in the next one. Put a little more yarn here. And then we begin our last one around this last puff. Yarn over, go into the first stitch, two loops left on the hook, yarn over twice, go around, front post around, oops, the post stitch on the other side of the puff, pull through three, like so. Then we yarn over just once, go in the top of the puff stitch there with a regular double crochet. Then pulling up a little bit more yarn, you yarn over twice, come back to the post in front of the puff, start a front post treble there, stopping with two loops left on the hook, yarn over, and double crochet in the top of the same stitch we did our first one around. And then when we've got three loops left on the hook, pull through all three to finish that off. And you can see all we have left for row two is a section of three. So what do we do? Back post treble, just as before, like so. Don't forget to move your stitch marker up. It's a lot of stitch markers to keep track of in this one, I know, but it will make it so much easier. Front, front post treble around the middle one. And yarn over twice, back post treble around the last one. Again, and this you're just kind of going through the chain space here. So that is the end of row two of the cable pattern. So deep breath, take a break if you need it, and let's begin row three. All right, so it's time to begin row three. So like every other row, we're going to start with a chain of three, which counts as our first stitch. I like to chain before I turn, but you can chain after you turn, it's up to you. Then again, of course, we've got our set of three stitches. So for row three, we back post double crochet around the second stitch. This is cable pattern one, as you may recall and then front post double crochet around the third stitch. That is exactly like the first row. So that tells you right there that rows one and three for cable pattern one are exactly the same. Don't forget to move up your stitch marker. There we are. Now, once again, we've got our section of 11. So we look at the instructions for row three of cable pattern two, and we start with a back post treble around the next stitch. So remember that one's right there. I wanna make sure we've got the right one. Now, this is a little tricky. When you work row three of cable pattern two, you need to work your back post trebles around the post stitches, not the regular stitches. Remember we have sort of a decrease. We have, when we did that front post cross, there was a cable stitch and also the double crochet that together made up that stitch and then another one in behind. When we make these back post trebles, we just wanna go around the post stitch portion. So I'm going to yarn over twice, I'm going to find the cable, the post stitch that's in back there that crosses and go around that one for our back post treble, like so. Then I am going to puff stitch in the next stitch. Now remember, between those crosses, we had the double crochet that was worked into the puff. That's the one we wanna find. We can see the top of this puff was right there. Right here's the double crochet. So right there is where we wanna put the next puff stitch. So we do our five yarn over and pull ups for another puff stitch, same puff stitch we did before, till we get to 11 loops on the hook. We've got nine, so need one more. It's hard to count and talk at the same time. There we go, puff stitch. And then it's time for another back post treble. So to find this one, 
Remember, this is the one that came behind the puff stitch. So you really have to look at your stitches and see there it is. That is the cable stitch and that is the double crochet that made the first cross. From the side, remember it's all the way in back, now it's in front of us. But what you want to do is still come at it from behind. So it helps to use your fingers to sort of tease out that post stitch there and push it to the back like so where you can go around it with your hook. I'll be doing that again. Rewind if you need to. I know that was tricky. So there's our back post treble, puff, back post treble. Then we work a single, excuse me, a double crochet in the next stitch, which is over here. Remember our double crochets stack up quite nicely. Helps us keep our place. There we are. And then we do it again. Yarn over twice, find the post stitch that is now in back, the one that was in front on the last row, right there. Go around it for a back post treble. Pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. Then we puff stitch in the double crochet that was worked into the puff stitch before. Two, three, four, try and keep them even as you can. Five, finish off our puff stitch, yarn over twice, and now find the one in back. It's going to be the one going across right underneath the puff stitch you just made. So we tease that out from the other stitches and kind of separate it with our fingers so we can go around it from behind, like so. That's going to pull that post stitch to the front of our work because we're actually working on the wrong side right now. This is the front. We're making the back. So that'll make a lot more sense on the front. So, got another repeat here. Double crochet in the double crochet. And then three stitches left to finish off this section. Yarn over twice. Go around this post that's on the other side there. Back post treble. Make a puff stitch right there. You can see there's our crossover. It's that little space right before it is the top of that double crochet. Once you really get into the pattern and start making it, it starts to make a lot more sense once you're doing it. Reading through the pattern, I was intimidated too. But once I started making it, it wasn't so bad. So, one more. There we are. Got our puff nice and high. Yarn over twice. Find that one right there. Use it apart a little bit, push it to the front, and there we have our treble. All right, so it's time to move. We went around that stitch there, when we went around the one we had to push to the front. This was the double crochet that went with it for that front post treble cross, so we know that this stitch marker moves into this stitch that we just made. Like so. All right. So, what do we have? Another section of three. What do we do for row three? When it's a section of three, we front post double crochet, followed by a back post double crochet, followed by a front post double crochet. I love the section of three, very easy to memorize. Move up this stitch marker. And next is our section of 17. I can pull it far enough away from the camera there to see it all. Let's begin. Row three of cable pattern three. We double crochet around the next four stitches. So remember, this goes to this, so we come all the way over here. One, two, three, and four. And then after our four double crochets, we do back post trebles around the next nine. So what we're going to do is yarn over twice, and this can get a little confusing. You want to follow, even though you're working around the posts, in order to figure out which stitch is next, if you follow the V's at the top, it will help you figure out 
which stitch in which order. So let's do it together. Yarn over twice, come right here. We can tell that's the first one because it's connected. So we go around that one. Oops. One, two, oop. three, there's one. Pull it apart a little bit. You can see this one's the next one. One, two, three. All right, moving on. We've got this in the last one. Hiding out in back here. Go around that one. Oop. One, two, three. And then if we keep following that top, you can see this is the next one right here. So we're going to yarn over twice. Go around that one. Yarn over twice. Find the next one right there. All right, yarn over twice, and there's the last one hanging out right there at the end. So since we've gone around all of those, that makes six, so we've got three more for our nine. Let me pull up some more yarn here. All right, one, and yarn over two, and yarn over twice, and three. So you can see even though we had that cross there in the previous row where our cables crossed over each other, we're looking straight across those in this row. After you've made your nine front post treble crochets, sorry, I just need to grab my yarn here. It's gotten a little tangled. There we go. Then to finish off row three, we just do four double crochets. Remember, that's how we always begin and end the section of 17. One, two, three, and four. And then, of course, it's time to move up that stitch marker. So we unhook it, put it in the next one, and we've got our section of 17. What do we finish off with, of course? A section of three front post double crochet around the first one, back post double crochet around the next, and front post double crochet around the last one. And you sort of go right into that chain space there. All right, and that was row three for all the patterns. Let's begin row four. We start with the chain three. That, of course, that again counts as the first stitch. Pull up some more, big more bunch of yarn here for this row. There we are. All right, so if we look at cable pattern one, our three stitch pattern, row four, we're going to work a back post treble around the first one. That's our sing three chains, then a front post treble around the second one, and a back post treble around the third one. Remember that's for this cable pattern one, where it's three stitches. It's just basically a two row repeat. Then we're right back at our section of 17. So for cable pattern three, which is our 17 stitch section, row four, we're gonna start by double crocheting in the first four stitches. Move that stitch marker up like so. There we are. So that was one, two, three, and four. All right, and now we're ready to begin some more of those fun crossing over stitches. Pull a little bit more yarn yet. These are gonna eat up the yarn a fair bit here. So after we've made our four double crochets, we're gonna skip the next three stitches right there. Then we're going to front post treble around the next three. So yarn over twice, skip these three, and front post treble around these three. That's one, two, and three. Like so. And then 
This is the tricky move for the 17 stitch section. We are going to work behind the three stitches we just made to go around the three stitches we skipped. So I'm going to start by yarning over twice, and then I'm going to go ahead and pull these stitches all the way out of the way, put my hook behind them, come all the way over to that first one we skipped, and go behind it. Like so. And then we just work that on up. Or excuse me, these are front post trebles. Let me do that again. I screwed up a little bit there. Okay, we've got the three we just made, we've got the three we skipped, we're going to yarn over twice, pull these out of the way, come behind these, come back in front of the fabric, go around the first one, just go ahead and pull it up, push those front ones, those ones we just made, all the way to the front there so they're out of the way, and make your front post treble around this one. Oops. There we go. And I'm going to yarn over twice, and I want to do the same thing around the next one. If you tease it apart, you can see this is it right there. So I'm going to go behind those, in front of there, and around. And then again, just sort of pull it up out of the way of the rest to finish your stitch. And then there's the last one. This one can be the hardest one to find. So you can see these are the two you just made. So there's that. There's that one lonely guy hanging out right there in the middle. Let's come behind those three and pull that guy up to work the front post treble there. And there is the crossover on this row. So from there, you then front post double crochet, excuse me, around the next three. So these three here, remember those were coming off the cross we did before. So we're gonna do one, two, and three. And then if you look at What's remaining in our section of 17? Four double crochets. Worked right in the top, just like a standard double crochet. One, two, pull up some more yarn, three, and four. And if I lay that out, you can see a little bit of what's happening there. We've got First cross made there, we've got a second cross happening over here, and those are going to keep sort of winding up. If you look at the picture at the beginning there, or the picture on your printout, you'll see that's the big crossed cables in the pattern. So after row 17, or excuse me, after our 17 stitch section of row 4, we always have a section of 3 stitches right there. So for row four of the three stitch section, it's a back post treble. And don't forget to move your stitch marker. Always keep moving those stitch markers up. It will save your bacon. Front post treble for the second one. And you can see how you can start seeing what comes next because of what's in front of you in the previous round. That's a back post, so from this side it's a back post, we worked it as a front post, but we keep keep them on the same side like that. And then we have cable pattern 2, row 4, our 11 stitch section. So to begin that one we are going to start with another front, front post treble cross, just like we did back here. It's going to be basically the same thing. We're going exactly the same thing I should say. Yarn over once, go into this stitch, which remember is the first stitch, let me pull that out of the way, which is the first stitch of this section. Stop with two loops left on the hook, I'm going to go ahead and sneak that off there, and set it aside. Two loops left on the hook, we've gone into that stitch there, I'm going to yarn over twice, four loops on the hook, come over here to that post stitch we just made, remember it was connected down to this post stitch right here. We're going to go around that one with a front post treble and stop with three loops left on the hook, yarn over, and finish off. That's the end of our first stitch, so we put the stitch marker back in. Then we want to double crochet in the next stitch, which is the puff right here. We actually come back one. 
go in the top of the puff, which remember is actually over to the side here. So we're going to yarn over, go right in front of the one we just made, and double crochet. And then we make the second half of the front post treble cross. Yarn over twice, come back to the post stitch before the puff, this one right here. Make a front post treble, stopping with two loops left on the hook. Yarn over once, and go in the top of the one we did the first crossover there, around. So that little stitch right there. Three loops left on the hook, yarn over and pull through. And you can see, if you pull the puff up to the front there, that's the right side, you can start to see that cable pattern happening. We've got post stitches that sort of circle around, or almost like crossover, double helix is what it makes me think of, around the puff stitches. So, after your front post treble cross, we work a double crochet in the next stitch. Like those, nice and easy. Remember those all stack in between, so you can always see where you are. Time to start our next set of front post treble crosses. We yarn over, go in that stitch right there. Stop with two loops on the hook. Yarn over twice. Go around this one with a front post stitch. Stop with three loops left on the hook. Yarn over and pull through. Yarn over once, come back to the top of the puff, which remember, again, over here to the side. There we are. Work our double crochet. You can see this is pushing that post stitch to the back there, and when we come back that'll be the one that we need to find and push through. But for now, it's time to complete our front post treble cross, so we yarn over twice, Come back here to the one that's in front of the puff, like so. Yarn over. Oop, I must not have yarned over twice. Let's try that again. Yarn over twice, go around. Stop with two loops left on the hook. Yarn over. Go into the top of the stitch that one's worked around. Three loops left on the hook, yarn over, and pull through. There's our second cross. Double crochet in the next one. We're almost done with row four. We're going to yarn over once. Go in that stitch right there. Always easy to find that one. Yarn over twice. Go around the post stitch on the far side of the puff. Since we've got three loops left on the hook, we yarn over and pull through all three. Then don't forget, you need to work the double crochet in the top of the puff stitch, like so. Then yarn over twice, go around the post stitch in front of the puff. With two loops left on the hook, we come back over here and finish up in the same stitch that we went around with the first part there. Three loops left on the hook, yarn over and pull through. So you can definitely rewind that section as many times as you need. I understand it's a little complicated, but I want to make sure to show it all to you. There we go. And then of course, to finish it off, we've got another three. We can tell these are in back, so it's going to be a back post treble around this one. Like so. Move our stitch marker up so we always know where we are. Front post treble around the next one. And finally a back post treble in that chain space there. All right. And there we go. Let's take a look at what this looks like pulled out a little bit. Okay, now we have our abbreviated blanket. We've got our section of three. You can see that's making a nice little line there. You may, when you're done with your blanket, want to work in edging. Like I say, it's not included in the pattern, but it's up to you. We've got our section of 17, which always begins and ends with four double crochets. And then we've got our long stitches crossing over each other. Another section of three, which gives you the one ridge in front here. This is on the right side. And then our section of 11, which is the puff stitches surrounded by crisscrossing 
cables around them. Remember, double crochet in between each of those. And then our three stitch cable pattern one on the end. And of course the actual blanket has several repeats of not only the three, but the 17 and the 11 across. But this abbreviated version should give you a good idea of how to work each of those sections. Again, be sure to print out the complete pattern from lionbrand.com. I hope this video helps you make the beautiful Celtic Afghan. Uh, if you like this video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks so much for watching.